hey guys you can download all these noise texture for free i'll put that on my patreon link is in the description and in the pinned comment so these are the all stylized texture smoke texture ring blur texture i have lots of basic tech noise and this one also stylized texture so all these i'll put for download for free for you guys and i have also this video this is actually also tutorial so how to make them so i will just make them in front of you right now and then you can just go and download so for download you have to do a favor just subscribe my video if you are new like share and comment and if you can share you can share this thanks so let's start this so let's start this so i'll create a new canvas in the photoshop and i'll take 1k okay so first thing you can just take the black and white here and if you have any color here you can just press d to reset this okay then you can go to filters and render and just take this uh, cloud or different cloud if i take this this is simple noise uh, i don't think i need to save this but let's save this as our first texture so i'll just make a folder noise and this is a noise 01 second thing what you can do with this when i uh, when you see uh, watch my tutorials i have lots of noise textures one is like this second is blurred so you can blur it according to your need maybe this much is enough and when you blurring it check the seams so for that go to filter other offset and see we have these seams here you can just take the blur from here this and you can blur these and if this is not blurring much you can just take the smudge tool and just drag this like this you can offset again to check again and again if you find any edges you can do that so this is our second noise noise 2 which is actually blurred third thing what you can do to make a cool stylized texture after blurring it you can go to filter and you can go to other and take the minimum and then choose the round here not square and then just increase the value and see we have a cool stylized texture maybe this much and then you can edit it more i'll just duplicate the layer Control j and then label and i'll label it little bit maybe like this then i can make this a screen so we have now contrast see before and after and then merge these and then check again if these are the same so you can see now the same there's a same issue then go to smudge tool zoom it and merge these like this you can apply a little blur after that you have to take time okay like this this one is properly merged like this one merged here see check the direction of the noise and then drag on that direction okay like this cool then you can offset it again to check if something you see then you can just save it and this is your noise three then you can totally hand paint it from scratch so if i make this black on a new layer i'll take the white i'll take the brush and size maybe just this much and i will make random shapes like this i have one texture like this in my uh, project that i use a lot the name of the texture is aura so whenever i'm using aura you can use this texture or you can create your own with this technique so i'm just randomly doing this to make this shape okay maybe one here and then you have to go to offset and you have to now match these lines connect these lines actually 
so it should not look like lines have an website again. I think now all lines are connect. You can check in again and again. After this, I'll make this my brush little bigger, decrease this opacity or flow, and I'll just oh, right click. Don't use hard, use soft brush like this. I'm doing it very roughly, so you have to just do it properly. Okay, offset it again. Yeah, everything fine. Reduce this little bit. I'll do it again. Okay, after doing this, we have to fill these black holes. So, for that, I'll reduce this even more. And first, I'll do this, then I'll go again, reduce the size of brush. Similarly, here. Set again. Now, one thing I'll do I'll take the smudge tool and I'll merge these like this and this part. You can reduce this maybe this much and merge these things and zoom and properly do it like this. Okay, you have to also merge these seams. I'm doing it with mouse. If you have pen tablet, go ahead and use that. I have already tutorial on this separately. If you want to check out, you can check that out. But you will get these all noises for free. I'll just put that on Patreon because I have lots of comments. People asking where's the noise texture that you are using, where's the aura texture you are using we cannot make without the texture so although i have already tutorial but and i'm also making this tutorial again but i'll put the files for free so you can just use them again i'm doing it very roughly but eventually result will be very good i hope so but you can take your time Okay, so I have merged this. You can also apply a little bit of Gaussian blur if you want, not that much, maybe this much. You can merge this, it's okay. So then I'll take the brush again and I'll make these little more proper. You have to manage the gradients, proper gradient in the holes. Uh, offset, it's okay, seams are there, we can resolve them again.
then again quickly I will just apply the smudge tool on the seams only not overall so just remove the seams Cool. We can offset again and fix these. Okay, now you can control J to duplicate layer. Do the same thing we did with our last image. Make the contrast. And then if I make this screen. You can now apply a little blur on that layer which is brighter. See how much you need. Then you can merge and then go to minimum again. Not that much, maybe this much. And then go to offset again just to check. And one last, last time proper zoom and do it properly because this will uh, like your final touch. So there are lots of ways to make this kind of texture. I have already covered that in my tutorials. This is not the only way. I'll show you one more way quickly, but I'll not do uh, all the steps again, but and this is your final stylized texture so if you take the levels you can see how it will dissolve see how it's dissolving it's dissolving 100 percent so this is your stylized hand paint noise this will be our fourth okay so what other process i want to show you other method you have to do the hand painting thing but you don't you you are not sure where to make the shapes so i'll make this black and white you can go and take the cloud and then you can blur it one second go the render yeah and then blur so just blur it this much maybe or this much little bit contrast and then you got your shapes now take the white color on a new layer and you have to draw these things let me just you have to draw these shapes and then you can do hand paint thing so you don't have to think where I make the shapes how to make you can go here you can hide that image now you will have your shape of noise then you can hand paint things okay one more thing i want to show you so if i press ctrl h we have this grid on if you don't know how to do that you can go in the preference and there's a grid settings here you can apply these settings how many rings uh, these grid you want so i have a smoke texture that is a sub uv but so how to make that do this then control then duplicate this drag this apply same cloud you can blur it little bit if you want maybe this much and then take this lasso tool feather maybe this much and just take the one shape like this you can control edge on this then take this shape copy paste it here the fairness is not enough so I'll increase it maybe 30 okay then I'll do it again 
copy paste and I have to do that one one two three sixteen times okay now I'll just copy this from here copy paste copy paste copy paste and you can go to this image and you can apply noise again but I don't need this copy paste you can take random shapes like long like this copy paste so after doing this 16 times you have to move these you can scale accordingly and put it in each box and this sub UV you can use in a smoke as a smoke texture I use that a lot and all shapes should be random so we have this much so in this image I will again apply a cloud okay and then again blur so now again I'll take the same thing copy paste Let me check how many shapes I have. So I will drag this here. You have to use it per frame, per particle, not a sequence. It's not a sequence of smokes. Keep in mind, it should be random per particle. So every particle will have a different cloud shape. Two more. Paste. Don't take a, a very like crazy shape. Okay. This shape will work okay so I'll just save it and how to use that I have already lots of tutorials where I use that so whenever you see my tutorials and I use that noise uh, smoke texture keep in mind you have to make that like this okay so this is smoke texture a part of this if you want to make rings and all let me just quickly show you so what you have to do turn on your grid you can just take the selection or you can just uh, like take this this thing create it anywhere on a new layer make this white then you can control T and is align it into the center okay if you want to make edge you can invert this control and I to invert this now this is black so right click make the blending option and there's a stroke you can use any color in the stroke you can increase thickness or you can if you want faded you can use inner glow like this and if I turn on the background so you can see so this is how you make rings so I'll save this also you can have this ring 0 1 you can just double click this and go here and increase it anytime so if you want to increase it like this much or if you want to use this it's up to you into so i think these are the most common texture i use and if i have uh, some different texture i'll make tutorials for all them Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye.